coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next SDL 2.0 tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to display a BMP image to the window. So it is a, a relatively easy uh, tutorial. We're going to be using the code from the last tutorial and if you don't have it, uh, it should be up on my website. If it's not up there, uh, then you can watch the previous tutorial or you can just copy it from this tutorial or you can ask me for it. I'm um, also it should be if you want you could check the my github page uh, github.com slash coding made easy I think that's the link and uh, I should have it in the description below and you should be able to to get the source code from there as well if you don't want to retype it so anyways uh, to begin this tutorial we are going to create uh, two things called SDL surfaces so STL surface and the first one we're gonna call window surface and set it to null pointer and we're going to uh, make a surface another surface and we're gonna set it to image surface now I just want to show you something quickly in case you guys don't like using null pointer so if I get rid of this as you can see we get a red squiggly which lets us know that um, we're not able to set it to null pointer because you can only set a pointer type to a null pointer so it kind of helps with error proofing as well um, so basically what a SDL surface is let's just say it's like a, it's, it's a canvas and our window has um, an a SDL service, a surface built into it that's why we see that white background and so with that canvas we can paint a color onto that canvas or we can load an image onto that canvas and we can paint other canvases onto other canvases and so on and so forth and so what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to be loading it and uh, an image onto this uh, surface or onto this canvas and then we're going to be painting it onto the window surface so that we can actually see it on the window so after we've created our window down here so let's say window created we're going to say that our window surface is equal to SDL get window surface and we have to specify our, our window because we can have multiple windows so we have to specify which window we want to get the surface from and we're stored in there and the the window surface uh, returns a SDL surface so now that we've gotten that we actually want to load a, a bitmap image and so we're going to say okay image surface is equal to SDL load BMP and so we want to load a bitmap image so before we even continue let's create uh, a bitmap image uh, so let me see if I can open recent so I just created this quickly uh, when I was creating um, everything for this tutorial so let's just save this and where you want to save this you want to save it in the folder click the fo folders project name and click that again and this is if you click all, uh, oh I wish you could see all the files but let's right now let's just call it um, uh, let's call it test.bmp we'll set up it map in there so if we go to um, if we go to our our D drive or wherever the project is um, and I click SML YouTube you want to save it where all your source code is so if you're using say MinGW like code blocks or something you just want to save it where your source code is um, so you can access it easier or if you want you can make a subfolder in there but when you if you if your subfolder is say called image you're gonna have to access it by calling image slash test.bmp now before I even for begin what I should have done and I showed you guys to do in the first tutorial which I didn't is if you guys don't want to continuously create an SDL project every single time in Visual Studio you can export this template and you just say project template or whatever the template is and you can save the template as whatever name you want and then whenever you click new project in C++ as you can see I created an SDL template right there so you don't have to modify the linker settings or whatever so that's up to you uh, I'm not sh sure if they have something similar in code blocks but if you're using Visual Studio that's something cool that you can do 
So, um, so anyways, back on track, we have our image, and so we're just going to say uh, test.bmp, and that's all we have to do for loading in the image. Now, SDL load BMP will, e it will return a SDL surface, and if it doesn't actually load it in, you guessed it, it will return null. So we can do a check and say, okay, if image surface is equal to null, then what do we do? Everybody, we are going to write to the console window. So we're gonna say image load loading error. And we're just gonna say STL get error. And voila. So we can have an else. And I know we have a lot of we have a lot of nested else's and ifs and else's and stuff like that, but um and it's not the most beautiful program, but I think you guys understand how, what's exactly going on. And if you want, we can subdivide it into a bunch of functions if it makes it easier for you guys to learn that way. Um, it's up to you, or we can do it in a different format, but I think you guys understand. So we're going to say, okay, if the image surface is equal to null, we're going to do that. Or and else, then we're going to do what we've been doing before, but we're going to be doing something slightly different. So well what we're gonna say is SDL oh man this uppercase stuff is uh, kinda confusing uh, so we're gonna say SDL blitz surface and what this does is say okay uh, take one surface and draw it onto another surface that's all it's basically saying um, that's basically what blitting if you wanna know more sophisticated what blitting is you can all you can search it on Google but basically what this is saying in this instance is saying take one surface and draw it on another surface so right now we have an image loaded in our image surface but it, we're not going to be able to display it anywhere because it is not a part of our window surface and so what we're going to say is okay we're going to take our image surface that's our source and for right now we're just going to put null for our, our rect and our destination surface so that's our window surface and the destination rect uh, we're going to leave that as null for now and we'll look into those things a bit later so this is saying okay take this image paste it on the window surface so that we can when we update the window we can actually see it and so let's run this program now And as you can see, we see the image there for two seconds, and then the window closes. So uh, let's just walk through what we did in this tutorial. So just like the last tutorial, we have our window. We initialize everything. We check if our window has loaded correctly. We uh, we get our surface from our window and store it into our window surface, right? So remember that the window surface is a pointer to the window surface. So any changes we make to that, it will make changes to the window surface. Um, and then we take our image surface, and then we're gonna load our uh, bitmap file. So we loaded it from our our project folder, and so we check to see if it was null to see if we display an error. Everything was fine. So since it was fine, we say okay, we want to take that image surface, display it on the window surface. And then we make a call to update window surface. Everything's updated on the window surface. And then we delay it for two seconds so we can at least see it. And that's it for this uh, for this program. So uh, wait, one last thing we have to do. So as you can tell, we have uh, one thing that we, one problem that we're having right now is that we're creating a memory leak because as you can see, these are pointers. And so we've freed uh, the memory by saying destroy window. So when we call destroy window, it, cre it destroys the window surface as well as the window. But we haven't freed the image surface. And so we're going to uh, do this by saying SDL free surface. And then we're just going to put our image surface in there. And that will free the memory for you. Now, whenever you free, uh, whenever you a, com a good practice for pointers whenever you free any memory for a pointer normally you, you want uh, you want to set it to a null pointer or set it to null or something so it doesn't become a dangling pointer 
so I know we're just we're just gonna exit our program we're not utilizing anymore but um, uh, it's a good practice so once you're done with your window you set it to a null pointer and when you're done with your window surface you set, set it to a null pointer so just good programming practice we run it we get the exact same thing and voila so that's it for this tutorial don't forget to comment and subscribe uh, don't forget to like on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and if you have any questions uh, you can also post on my forum on my website and you can also check out the source code on my website or from github so that's it and bye for now